Hey guys, it's Matt. This is going to be another Unity tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to get started on a tower defense game. Uh, this video is going to be the first part and we're going to look at how to create the grid that the uh, units walk on, that you build on, and uh, that the player interacts with. So as you can see I have this uh, X by Z grid over here. It's an isomorphic grid so it's tilted on its side and uh, the tops and the top and the bottom corner are both cut off and the units spawn in this edge and then walk over here to this sphere over there in the very corner. Uh, so this video is only going to be about how to create this grid and I'll make a few more on uh, actually how to interact with it. So first let's take a look at some of the game objects that we actually have in our view here. So first we have the plane uh, that I'm just calling map and we have we have our map script attached to it and then also the event handler script and the map script is act actually has uh, a few transforms and a few game objects a few sprites also that's keeping track of it has this the, the bear the enemy bear and then the turrets that we're placing along with the left the right and uh, the enemy spawn and the destination the left and the right as you can see, the left is the left bound of the map, and then the right is going to be the right bound of the map. So we just take those two positions and then create a grid uh, in between them. So uh, now that we have that, let's take a look at some of the code. So in the map, we are going to uh, go into the start method. And the first thing we do is the object manager .get instance. So the ob the object manager is actually what is creating our uh, is what's creating our grid. So the first time it's going to be null and it's going to uh, go ahead and run its constructor. So it just gets a uh, reference to the map, the event handler, sets itself and then it also instantiates our uh, nodes 2D array inside of the map class and now we're going to set the positions of our uh, transforms uh, I do this so that it scales to the size of the screen because hopefully uh, I'm gonna want to port this to uh, some mobile devices so I want it to be uh, kind of already built in for handling different sizes size screens so we're going to get the mid left by dividing the screen height by two and uh, keeping the X position zero and then we're going to get the mid right by uh, getting having the X be the width and then take uh, half of the screen height now we're going to do a screen to world point on the mid left assign it back into mid left same thing for the right next we're just going to change the uh, y value of that vector to 1 then we're going to set the left transform that was on the map we're going to set that to the mid left value and then set the transform for the mid right uh, object or to the right object to mid right and then we're going to do the same things for our uh, enemy spawn and enemy destination and this can be this can obviously be changed up for uh, later later versions of the game. So now that we have our initial positions ready, we're going to build the nodes that make up our grid. So first thing we need to do is we need to get the uh, floating point size of the map in uh, Unity coordinates. So, or in Unity uh, units, basically. So we're going to take the X position of the right transform, and we're going to subtract it by the position of the left and that, that'll give us uh, the size x and then to do the size z we just do the same thing with the z coordinates now we're going to get the size of each node and the node is uh, the node is just the uh, things that make up the grid uh, little uh, the squares that make up the grid so we're going to have a vector 2 the x size is going to be the total size of the map divided by the number of uh, nodes total inside of our grid and then we do the same thing 
in the z direction. And then we initialize some variables, and now we're going to go into one of our many double for loops. We're going from x to the size size x of the map, and then from z to the size z of the map. Our z position, this is going to be setting the unity position for our uh, nodes. Uh, and what's great about this system is that doing this, let's just take a look at the node class. It's not all it is is a C sharp class. It isn't a uh, mono develop class, or it isn't a uh, game object. Uh, mono behavior, that's the one. So, uh, in order to actually work with it in Unity, in, inside of our game, we need to give it Unity positions. We need to give it a, basically something that represents a position inside of our map, inside of our game. So that's what these are going to be. The X position is going to be the X position of our left transform plus our uh, X count times the size of the node. So that'll give us our X position, and we do about the same thing for Z, except we add one to our Z count. Next, we turn that into a vector three, and this X pos and Z pos are actually the uh, upper, I think it's the upper left of the uh, of the tile of the grid node. Sorry. So we have to add half of the node size. So node size divided by two in the X direction, and then subtract half of the node size in the Y direction. So this will give us the center of our node and that'll just make it easier to work with so we don't always have to do a uh, conversion to get to the center of it. Next we're also going to want to keep track of the index the index of this node into the nodes array that uh, houses all of the nodes basically what we're iterating through so all it is is vector 3 of uh, x, z, this one doesn't matter so 0 really just made it a vector 3 to uh, be consistent. Uh, next we're going to actually make a new node. So map.nodes xz is going to be equal to new node true true the unity position and then the index into it. So if we actually take a look at this constructor the true true is for is walkable and is buildable. So this is going to tell us what our units are allowed to walk through and also what the turrets are allowed to be built on. And then, like I said, unity position list index. So just set those and head back to the object manager. Now, this portion of the code is what's uh, chopping off the top, the top grid, uh, the top nodes and the bottom nodes, like, uh, like you saw in the game earlier. So I get the unity position and I uh, transform it into a screen position. Then I get its y value, and if it is less than one pixel below the screen, below the bottom of the screen, I want to say uh, don't let units walk there, don't let players build there. Ba it, it, in effect makes it invisible to, uh, to the player. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, get the y value, and if it is greater than or equal to 20% of the screen height. I am also going to uh, ignore that value. And 20% uh, of the screen height is what this uh, plane is. So that's where that value is coming from. So now that, uh, now that we have all of our nodes created, we're going to uh, want to interconnect them so that it makes it easy to do pathfinding. Uh, I'm not going to uh, go through this. This is a bit little uh, self-explanatory. So uh, really it's just you find out if a node is to the left or if it's above it or if it's below it and you say uh, let's take a look at what makes up a node. We have our is walkable, is buildable, and then our border tiles which is what our uh, connection connect the nodes method is uh, dealing with. 
So we have border tiles, and uh, it consists of eight nodes. Each of them has an index, and I use this enumeration to access the index, so it's a little bit, uh, little bit easier to actually make sense of. So down is the uh, zeroth index, and then the left, you know, down diagonal left is going to be one, left is two, and so on. So back into the object manager, we're just going to uh, border.left equals the node to the left of the current one, which is XZ, and yet another uh, double for loop to get through that. And that is how I create the, uh, create the grid. Thanks for watching. I'm going to make uh, part two to talk about how to place the turrets and then probably make another part to talk about uh, how to move enemies and how to do uh, how how the pathfinding works for it. Uh, thanks for watching.